welcome you to the prepare channel so in this series you know already that we are discussing some very very important mcqs for the upcoming apsc forest ranger examinations we have already covered several such lectures and today also we'll continue the thing now without any delay let's come to the lecture the first question of this lecture is the percentage of light energy utilized for photosynthesis by higher plants is option a 100 option b 50 option c 10 option d 1 this is a very common question and this question is being several times asked before who this is a our photosynthesis of homoeot kiman person light energy higher plants will like a use core okay the answer is one so the percentage of light energy utilized for photosynthesis by higher plant is one percent coming to the next question the term reducer is applied to option a decomposers option b that trivores option c both a and b and option d heterotrophs is a reducer term to ki hot apply hoy answer is both a and b decomposers and that trivores we know what is decomposer composers and we also know what is that trivores right now decomposers means those things which decompose uh, this uh, this means either you can say the animal uh, <coughs> dead bodies or any such components and that trivores are these things look at this uh, diagram so that trivores are heterotrophic animals that feed on dead particulate and organic material simply plant matter so that like 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 a dead particulate or organic material or dead body dead plant matter like you can see this kakura like crabs snails hamuk artworms dung beetles piles that tribos. So reducer a term to decomposer out that tribor to it agarne Next question. The primary consumers are described as primary consumer black like kihoi. Herbivores, ne converters, ne transducers, ne all of this. Primary at the first stage of jikinia say, right? So hekini hobo herbivores. Our herbivores, I mean, I know the knowledge is that we have to those who are living on plants, consuming plants, okay, plant leaves or these things. So the primary consumers are herbivores. Next question: the ration of food energy, ration, no, actually that should be ratio, ratio of food energy assimilated to the food energy ingested is called. Option A, tropic level efficiency. Option B, photosynthetic efficiency. Option C, net production efficiency. And option D, assimilation efficiency. Ki hudi se? Ratio, food energy, assimilation or pra, zikini ingest hoi, he to ki huli koi. And this ratio is known as assimilation efficiency. I am repeating again, the ratio of food energy assimilated to the food energy ingested is known as assimilation efficiency. Next question, the ecosystem lying in the alpine zone between taiga and polar ice is known as option A, savanna, option B, autotrophic, option C, heterotrophic, option D, tundra. So answer is tundra. So uh, although this answer is tundra, you have to know about all of these. This is savanna, autotrophic, heterotrophic, tundra, kiha, gutekini report maata lexar. Uh, prepare for me. I will prepare a lecture on both of this, not both, but all of these uh, different zones actually, like savanna, autotrophic, heterotrophic, and tundra. So, a question to food is the ecosystem lying in the alpine zone at the upper, huh? upper just, just this upper at the second stage of the between taiga and polar ice. Who put polar ice or taiga? That is tundra. Then Next question, which of the following is the smallest unit? Again, you can put star mark here. They two very important question. What is the smallest unit? Option A, biosphere. Option B, ecosphere. Option C, ecosystem. Option D, biome. 
I mean, good day, get the technical terms already discussed. Of course, we have discussed about biosphere, we have discussed about ecosphere, ecosystem, and biome. So, if you compare the definition, then you know that the, the relationship between living and non living being and those things, and then uh, particular one type of species, and then the whole atmosphere. Accordingly, you will have different definitions, uh, different definitions lead to this biosphere, ecosphere, biome, ecosystem. Or you get a bit of smallest unit to say ecosystems. Okay, Baki bilak yar super set. So ecosystem to smallest unit. In a stabilized ecosystem, the PR ratio is at a stabilized ecosystem of PR ratio to kihobo. Option A, one, option B, less than one, option C more than one option d any of this this question may again be asked in a different like question uh, different type like in a not stabilized or instabilized ecosystem pr ratio will be what like that okay and this in this case it is asking about stabilized ecosystem so the pr ratio in the case of stabilized ecosystem is one I mean in a stabilized ecosystem the pr ratio is one now what is pr ratio Let's try to understand about this PR ratio. So in a autotrophic succession, rates of production, P, are more than rates of respiration in the beginning. So in the pioneer community, primary producers are maximum in number. So hence, PR ratio of pioneer community obviously will be more than one. I'm repeating again. At the autotrophic succession of key rates of production hodai, rates of respiration of kit besi hoy, beginning or homeward. Aru at a pioneer community hodai primary producer besit hake karne, P by R or mantu ekot koi dang or hobo karn, P hoinka besi. Right? This increases the biomass. So as P by R is greater than one, this will imply the increase of biomass. Obviously, biomass besi hoi hoi but with progress of succession, biomass of organisms increases and the PR ratio tends to be 1. Okay. So, lahe lahe R means R or bhelu tu alab bahi goi thai kibo, P bhelu tu tu bahi ase. So, eta homoyot ki hobo P by R is equal to 1 hobo and this indicates the stability of ecosystem. But in heterotrophic succession, the situation is different and the rates of respiration is greater than rates of production. Hence, because the community is dominated by heterotroph, so P by ratio is less than 1. So question may come that like that, uh, if P by R is less than 1, then what type of community that will be? That will be heterotrophic community. Okay. So we got it. If we summarize the thing, if in the case of autotrophic succession, P by R is always get R than 1. But in the case of stable ecosystem, P is equal to R. Or you can say P by R is equal to 1. But in the case of heterotrophic succession, P by R is less than 1 as R's value is greater than P. So it is in this question, answer is 1. That is in a stabilized ecosystem, P by R ratio is 1. Now coming to the next question, in a parasitic food chain, which trophic level is represented by bugs and lysis? Parasitic food chain or kotha koisu. So answer will be three T. T three. Can I kami hok? Look at this diagram. You can see here that at the bottom you have producers, manetropic level one, then a producer spillacore for primary consumer is a herbivores, fruit eating birds, that is T1. My means in this story, T2. Okay, plant producers T1 as well, herbivores T2 whole. Then parasites or herbivores. A herbivores spillacore for the parasites as but there are many porosivi as a porosivi kini hoise lice, bugs, abilac. Our abila kun to tropic level of poise that is T3. It's very clear from this diagram. Bottom to T1, then second T2, then this is T3. And hyperparasites on lice and bugs. So lice are bugs or projikini parasite parasite. Okay. Hekini is like bacteria, fungi, 
actinomyces so they are t4 so in this case what the question was asking that in a parasitic food chain whose trophic level is represented by bugs and lysis so answer will be t3 i hope this is clear coming to the next question the taiga ecosystem lie in the all of the agota tundra bikhoy paisilu polar region aru etu asile polar region aru taiga etu tar majot jitu asile ami hetu ki paisilu tundra now question is asking about taiga taiga ecosystem lie in option a alpine zone option b sub alpine zone option c temperate zone and option d sub tropical zone in this case the answer will be sub alpine zone so taiga ecosystem lies in sub alpine zone not just alpine zone that ke alok talot that is sub alpine zone you know that these zones are being classified classified on the basis of height right so look at this figure you can see that addom talot ki ase lowland then above lowland we have mountain as the height increases then above mountain we have above lowland we have mountain and above mountain we have sub alpine and above sub alpine we have alpine and above alpine we have nivel and the question is asking about taiga ecosystem and this taiga ecosystem lies in this sub alpine zone then one more diagram i have included for you this is forest type forest types we have different forest type like tropical forest mountain sub tropical forest temperate mountain forest then alpine forest and sub alpine forest okay now biotic and abiotic components of the ecosystem are connected to option a standing quality option b climatic regime and option d transducer option c transducer and the option d humification and mineralization biotic or abiotic component kini keneke connected hoy thake itu majit aro kitu itu itu majot biotic and abiotic component kini connected kihor through edi hoy thake and answer is humification and mineralization kan biotic jibito aro ajibito jekhini ama component thake ta hati humification or mineralization ek process or through edi connected hoy thake the next question the flow of materials and energy in an ecosystem is respectively ki hobo option a cyclic option b cyclic and linear option d linear and cyclic and option d linear ki hobo cyclic hobo aru linear hobo right to je flow bila ki hobo ekdom eta samot last stage le goi pile last stage or pra ako first stage le ahibo so that is cyclic but it is not jumping from one stage to other so that's why this is linear so cyclic and linear the next question the cybernetics of an ecosystem refers to cybernetic of an ecosystem refers to option a harvest index option b a feedback mechanism option c regulation of equilibrium and option d reverse energy flow at again mahatvapurna question the cybernetics of an ecosystem refers to regulation of equilibrium e terms kita mona rakhibo lagibo ecosystem or cybernetics mane hoyse keneke equilibrium to equilibrium to regulation koribo pari okay next question according to lindman the total solar input in terms of g scale centimeter square and per year is total solar input in terms of g scale cm square per year is 118872 etu upay na etu monot rakhibo lagibo mukhosto koribo lagibo that is 118872 next efficiency of primary production in an ocean is answer is 20% 0.20% so primary production or oceanot efficiency ki man thake 0.20% so this is the last question of this lecture i hope you have got or the all the mcqs that i have discussed in this today's lecture will be coming with a new lecture including some more to questions for the upcoming topics so till then take care bye bye joy at home